One of the great things about the Apex is the power of detecting choices that you get. You get six different frequencies that you can utilize within any of the different modes, such as coins, jewelry, or relics. But how do you decide whether to use one of the powerful single frequencies or one of the simultaneous multi-frequencies that's available? Let's take a few minutes and walk through and explain the differences between these and where you might want to utilize these different choices with your multiflex frequency. Apex has four single frequency choices, five kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 15 kilohertz, and 20 kilohertz. In single frequency operation, all of the Apex's energy is concentrated into one frequency to offer enhanced detection on certain types of targets. The five kilohertz option can be used if you're searching for larger, high conductive targets like large silver coins. With a higher frequency, 20 kilohertz, your apex has enhanced detection on smaller, less conductive metals, such as small gold nuggets and thin hammered silver coins. For single frequency operation, 10 kilohertz and 15 kilohertz are great choices for good all around performance on all types of targets. Single frequency operation may sometimes offer quieter operation than multi-frequency when you're in a noisy environment with high EMI or electrical interference. Apex also has two simultaneous multi-frequency operating platforms. In each of these, there are a combination of frequencies being transmitted, received, and processed all at the same time. The standard multi-frequency mode, which displays as MF on the screen, provides maximum detection on all types of targets and is also great at minimizing ground noise. The second simultaneous multi-frequency is labeled MS for multi-frequency salt. This mode uses a blend of frequencies to help overcome the negative effects of saltwater beaches. Okay, so those are the six choices. If you still wonder what is best for you, let's just ask a couple of Apex users what they choose to do. Okay, recently I was out at a home site that had a dog fence. The dog fence was causing all kinds of interference with everybody's machines. But luckily I had the Apex. And with the Apex, I was able to drop to a different frequency and then switch through the channels. Every frequency option on the Apex has eight channel options. So if you're having interference like EMI or a dog fence, one thing you can do is switch to different frequencies and then switch through the channels to find a quiet one. That way you don't have any interference while you're hunting. I personally like to hunt with the multi-frequency. I do a lot of parks, I hunt in zero disc so I can hear all the targets and with the multi-frequency I can hear the different conductivities of all the different kinds of uh, materials that I'm finding. Uh, copper, silver, gold, that, that's my way to go and um, you choose what you want to do but the options are there. Me personally? based on my beach in North Carolina. Uh, when I have used it, I've used multi-frequency, I've used zero mode, and I've just discriminated out a little bit of the iron, lower iron signals. Um, you can customize this, you can set it to coin, you can set it to jewelry, whatever fits your area and your needs and where you feel like you're getting the best signals and finding the most targets. Uh, that's personally how I would set mine up but you're free to test yours out. Uh, Multi-frequency, you're not gonna miss many signals. You're gonna hit pretty much any target in that range that you don't discriminate out. So I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this video. Happy hunting, dig it all, save some history. As for me, I obviously use the multi-salt mode when I'm in Florida on vacation and I'm hunting at the edge of the salt water. When I go up into the dry sand, I'll generally flip over to the regular multi-frequency mode. If I'm gonna go to a single frequency mode, I'll usually pick one of the good all around choices. And for me, it's usually 15 kilohertz. And that does well for me on pretty much all types of targets, coins, jewelry, anything else I might encounter. 